Hi guys, um, I just wanted to show you um, the CMAS papers that they graded for a four, um, like we were looking at in class. So um, just so you have an idea of what a four would be for one of these. So um, I'm going to read it to you and you can kind of take a look and compare it to what you have. Um, there's two of them, so I'll kind of try to go as fast as I can. All right, so this one starts with an introduction. In the drama A Thousand Cranes and the passage from Fiddle Fanatic, the main characters express similar feelings. However, they also express different ones. So it has a clear thesis and shows what the essay is going to be about. And then they start going in and giving some proof. Um, for example, in A Thousand Cranes, Sadako is thrilled because Kenji told her that he he believes she could win, for instance. So here's the evidence. Kenji told Sadako, Sadako, I will tell you the truth. I believe you will win. Also, in the next line of the dialogue, after Sadako's name, they put the word, word thrilled in parentheses. This shows that Sadako is happy and excited that Kenji believes she's fast enough to beat all the other girls in Hiroshima. So they gave their evidence. I like that they used a direct quote from the text, and then they explained the evidence why it was important. Um, I don't know if I need to read all of this to you, but I'm going to put it up here. Um, however, although Sadako is thrilled by the fact someone believes she will win, she gets a little frustrated when she gets home. For example, when Sadako gets home, her mother keeps telling her to take off her shoes, pay respect to elders and ancestors. She also keeps cutting Sadako off mid-sentence. If somebody kept cutting me off when I was in the middle of saying something, I would be frustrated too. I would also be even more frustrated if I was all, almost bursting with excitement to say something, but I wasn't permitted to say it. They do a good job explaining why that evidence is important here. Also, Sadako's mother made her wait until her father was home to tell her the earth-shattering news. After that, Sadako said, But mother, this shows that she starts to pr protest to her mother because she is angry that she can't share her good news. And then it talks about Mel. In the passage from Fiddle Fanatic, the main character feels the same way. So this is how they're similar, but a little more intensely. She also feels jealous. For example, Mel snapped, Why are you playing in here at Abby when Abby was playing her violin in the restaurant? This shows that Mel is jealous and frustrated that her little sister is so good at the violin and also that she's concert mistress. Mel also doesn't understand how she in the second, is in the second row of violinists, not even the first row. This demonstrates how Mel is frustrated, flustered, and jealous of Abby's position and talent. A different feeling in Fiddle Fanatic is that Mel ends up feeling ashamed. Mel feels ashamed because her sister got to be concert mistress and she didn't even congratulate her. Mel's negative feelings came out first before she even thought about it. I think this teaches us to be happy for each other, even if we didn't get exactly what we wanted. And then here's the conclusion. Although Fiddle Fanatic and A Passage from the Drama A Thousand Cranes are both different stories with separate characters, they share similar and different feelings. So I think this did a good job giving evidence, um, explaining the evidence, and not just comparing the two characters, but also showing how they're different. So this is one example. Um, here's a second example. Uh, just for the interest of time, I don't think I'm going to read it for you today, but hopefully that first essay helped you. Um, and if you're struggling, um, maybe this gives you a little bit of a direction. All right, guys, um, you're working really hard and I appreciate it. Thank you.